All right, guys, so R2 Swan is going to be making its closest appearance. I want you to check out the convergence. I'm not telling you what's going to happen, as I always say, because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. But the things are just undeniable. Got to look at them, the way things are happening. Woo! Uh, this is wild. October 21st, there is a solar full moon eclipse. It's got a total blacked out moon. It's going to be on a Tuesday. Tuesday. Eyes from my studies, the three holy days are not Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They are Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because that's what the cabal likes to plan their, their false flags on all the time throughout history. The majority of the time. R2 Swan, when I did the, when I did the number code, Yashua. Just like Amuamua was Yashua. It's going to make its closest approach to Earth on October 21st and the 22nd. Why is that important? Because Tishri 1st was October the 6th. I showed you that on video from my video from uh, September the 7th when we saw that full blood moon. That's a complete month in between. So Tishri 17, that's the day that Noah rested, okay? Yeah, they went up, but they also rested, okay? Which means our rest was when we go up with the lamb. Tishri true, I'm, I'm just saying, from what I've studied, true Tishri 17 is victory. It is October the 21st. <laughs> when I say these convergences are real, and we and God said, look up, use the sun and the moon for signs, then to know the time. So why do why does the word keep telling us to look up? Because because your redemption draws near or nigh. So if we have all these convergences, and I said, I continue to say the window, the hour, September to October, this is what we're looking at. Okay. So October 21st to the 22nd, R2 Swan, the name that they gave it, has a Yahshua connotation to it. Tishri 17 is also October the 21st. <laughs> Just be hopeful and stay hopeful, folks, okay? Uh, a lot of us was in some pain yesterday, man. I'm telling you, I laid on ice all day. I'm going to continue as well uh, with this EMF and solar flares, planetary alignment. I feel the pull on my joints and my bones. It's been rough, okay, rough. A lot of ibuprofen and turmeric and ice. So I'm going to show you something later on on that map, how close convergences are coming. So stay hopeful, folks. Stay hopeful. Help is on the way.